Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about graphing lines. We're going to sketch the graph of each line. So, if I was given this equation, y equals 7 halves x minus 2. Okay, 7 halves x minus 2. Well, First thing I'm looking at here is our B value, our y-intercept, okay, where it crosses the y-axis. Well, we have a negative 2 right there, so we cross the y-axis at negative 2, and now we have one point, all right? So two points make a line, so we got to find the second point. Now, they give us a slope, all right, the end value right here, 7 halves. That means we go up 7 units over 2. So we go up 7 units, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Over two units, one, two. There we have it with a point two comma five right there. Okay, and now we have two points. We can make a line. Now let's see if how how good of a line drawing I have freehand here. There we go. Okay, well, that's a little fat there, but it's okay. All right, and so now we have a quick sketch, right, of our equation y equals seven halves x minus two. y equals negative 6x plus 3, okay? So the first thing we're looking at, at again is our y-intercept, our b value right here. y-intercept is 3. So on the y-axis, I'm going to put a dot right there at 3. Now the next thing it tells us is our slope, negative 6. Well, that negative 6 is the same thing as negative 6 over a positive 1. So negative 6 over a positive 1, we go down 6 units first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, over 1 unit right there, okay? And so now we go down 6 over 1. We can connect these two lines. There we go. I'm trying to get straight. I guess we should get straight edge, but not too bad. Freehand. You get the gist of it. And there we have it. We have our two points that make a line. We have our equation, our graph here. Y equals negative 5. Okay, so if I was given y equals negative 5 here, what I'd look at is, okay, y axis. Now, we know it's not, well, it is kind of in the slope intercept form. If you see it like this, y equals 0 times x minus 5, right? We have a slope of 0, which means it's a horizontal line, right? And our y-intercept is still negative 5. So negative 5 comes down here. We have a y-intercept right here. But then it's a horizontal line from there. Okay? So since it's a horizontal line from there, our line just does this. And there we have it. We have our graph. All right? Again, when we have just y equals a number, it's just a horizontal line through where it crosses the y which was the negative. Y equals 6 over 5 X plus 1. Okay? Well, 1, it's the main thing we're looking at here is our Y intercept. So, that 1 Y equals 1. Boom. We put a point right there. Now, we have 6 fifths. Okay? 6 fifths. So, we can go up 6 units over Five. That's going to get a little bit out of our graph. We'll see. So we go up six units. One, two, three, four, five. One more. That's just about, that's where seven is. And then one, two, three, four, five. So there's a point somewhere here. But what if you want to point on the graph? Well, one thing I like to see here: y equals six fifths x is the same thing as negative six over negative five x plus one. So what you can do here, if you want to, is we can go down. 6 units, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units, and then over 5 units, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right here, okay? So that helps. This point is what, negative 5, negative 5? And this point here is 5, positive 7, okay? And we have our point 0, comma, 1. So we can connect these lines here. Let me see if I can do this all one. Sweeping motion. There we go. And now we have our, our graph. 
y equals one fourth x plus two. All right. Well, first thing I'm looking at is my two. That's my y-intercept. So I go up the y-intercept. I have a two right here. Put a dot right there too. Then I have my slope one over four. So that means I go up one unit over four units. One, two, three, four. And right here we have a point at three, uh, four. Excuse me. I'll do the wider set first. At four, comma, three. So we have a point right there. We also can go down one to the left four units if you want. So down one, one, two, three, four. We have a point right here. And that'd be at negative four, comma, one. So if we want, we have a few points right there. Right? So remember, up one unit over four is the same thing as down one unit to the left four. So we connect these lines here. So we can make a nice straight line. Freehand. Not the best, but it's all right. And there we have it. We have our final answer in our graph here for our line y equals one fourth x plus two. x equals five. Okay. <clears throat> This one's a little tricky, right? So we've seen before when y equals something, we have just y equal no x value, we have a horizontal line. When x equals a number, we have a vertical line, okay? So when x equals five, the only thing we look at here is say, okay, on the x-axis, where is it equal to five? Right here at five, we put a dot, and then we just have a vertical line from there. So we got a vertical line, y equals 5 thirds x, okay? So if I'm just given 5 thirds x, sometimes people get thrown off. What's the b value, right? And really, our b value is plus 0. Now, we don't always write it, right? We don't write a plus 0, but that b value being 0 here really shows that we're crossing the origin right there at 0 comma 0. So that's our y-intercept right there at 0, and now our slope is 5 thirds. Go up five units, one, two, three, four, five, over three, one, two, three. So we have a point here at, five, uh, let's do that, three comma five. Okay, and there we have it. So let's go make a line. We can connect these two dots. And there we go. We have our line, pretty straight forward right there. All right. X equals zero. All right. So when x equals zero, we have a vertical line, a vertical line. So that's where it's vertical through when x crosses the x, or zero crosses the x-axis. So you know, zero right there, x-axis is zero here, and coincidentally, same value where y equals zero. And that always happens, right? Uh, but anyway, so we have our x value being zero, we need to draw a vertical line, all right? Because when x equals number, it's a vertical line, so a vertical line through the axis so it stays on basically the y-axis or it is basically the y-axis and there we have our line our graph that matches the equation um, x equals zero y equals negative one-third x plus three all right <clears throat> we got negative one-third x plus three First thing I'm looking at here is my y-intercept, which is 3, right? So we have positive 3, our b-value, got a y-intercept. Then they tell us we have a slope of negative 1 third. So that means we're going down one unit over 3, 1, 2, 3 units. And there we have a point, right? And that point is 3, comma 2. And we can even do it again. From that point, down one unit over 1, 2, 3. And that point would be 6, comma 1. Okay, so we have a slope of negative one third down one over three down one over three. We have three points. Let's go connect them. And there we have it. We have our graph right there. Y equals one fifth x minus four. Okay. Well. What we have here, we first look at our y-intercept, our b-value, negative 4. So I put a dot here on the y-axis, right at negative 4. Then they tell us we have a slope of positive 1 fifth. 
It means we go up one unit over five. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to point it right here. And that point is five comma negative three. Okay? So we have two points. Let's go make a line between them. Make a little line right here. And now we have our graph. Two points make a line. Now sometimes you want to have three points, but uh, it's certainly up to your teacher. I'm okay with two points. Right there, we have two points labeled. We have an equation of our line graph. Y equals one half x minus two. Okay. Well, minus two is our y-intercept, so that's where it crosses the y-axis. So look at the y-axis. Got negative two right there. Put a point. Then it tells our slope. Our end value is one half. So we go up one unit over two. Right. So we go up one unit over two. And that coordinate point is two comma negative one. Then we do it again. Up one unit over two. Got another point right there, and that is four comma zero. Okay. And shoot, let's go one more. We go up one more unit over two. We have a point right there, and that is six comma one. So we can connect all these dots here, hopefully in a nice little nice little manner. I know the dot here a little higher. There we go. And there we have our y. We have a line that represents the equation y equals one half x minus y equals 2x plus 5. Okay? So we have 2x plus 5. Well, 5 is our y-intercept, our b value. So I look at the y-intercept and I have a 5 right there. Okay? Now, here's the tricky part. All right? My graph is kind of limited. Now, if it went on, you know, if I had really large, I just go up 2 over 1, right? Because we know our slope is 2 over 1. And we also know, right, so I should do that. Up 2 units, 1, 2, a little past it, over 1, we got a point right there, and that's what 7 comma, or 1 comma 7, excuse me, I always do that, 1 comma 7. But that line, y equals 2 uh, x plus 5, is the same thing as y equals negative 2 over negative 1 x plus 5, right? Because negative 2 divided by negative 1 is a positive 2, right? So that means we can go down 2 units, 1, 2, over 1 unit. And we can go down 2 units to the left 1 unit, right? All of a sudden, we have multiple lines that are within our region we need to, that we're given, okay? So I connect these, these points. We got a line right there, boom, boom, okay? More or less, got it, it's a little, it's good enough for me. And there we have, make a little big arrow right there. <laughs> so we have our equation with our graph, um, y equals two x plus five, right there. Minute math, when you need help you use Minute Math. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. MinuteMathTutor.com